Hello everybody, this is just a video to show you uh, how to use my mod pack. Uh, it's really easy to do, you just have to drag and drop basically. What you do is, you click on the link below in the description. It's a Mediafire link, it will take you to my RAR file. If you unzip that, you will see an 8.8 .8 and an XGAP map. All you have to do now is go to your World of Tanks folder, go to Rest Mods, and you'll see your 8.8 .8 already. Obviously I already did it, but all you have to do is take these two and drag them into the rest mods folder and you're already done now you're probably curious on what's in there uh, I got the latest XGM in there so you will have the stats of the enemies the win percentages uh, and all that good stuff it would also have Jimbo's crosshair mod uh, you will also have the tank carousel from Locastens uh, and it all works in 8.8 .8. so all you have to do is download it drag and drop it in there and yeah you can have some good fun in there I will also try and do a battle, hopefully it will load in quick and I will show you what it looks like in the battle itself. So your garage is going to look slightly different. All of your tanks are basically split in four. Uh, so you can easily choose all the tanks you want. For me it's especially handy because I have like over 100 tanks easy uh, that I use. So it's easy to scroll and just pick a tank and battle like always. Um, I'm just going to go with a lower level, hopefully we can get into the battle real quick so I can show you what it looks like in the battle itself. There we go. So we're in Himmelsdorf, tier 2 only, that's good. Now it won't show you the stats of the players and the win percentage when you're loading in, but once you have, you will see it now. Uh, if you press tab, you will see all the statistics of all the players. The first thing you'll see is the amount of battles played, then it's the win 6 chance. Uh, with chance the win six uh status it's like efficiency only like a different way to calculate it and the other one is the win rate of your overall account you also see the chance to win uh, the battle and yeah um as you may not know if you press control you can use the mouse you can change this around as well if you wanted to but that's already the case you don't need a mod or anything for that as you notice when i press control the minimap will pop up like this you can still ping it like this this uh, pressing on those buttons like you usually would on a minimap. Um, you will notice that there's like four circles on your minimap right now. The smallest one is 50 meters. That's the auto detection range uh, that you will be spotted at. The second one is 350. The third one is 400. And the last one is 450. 450 is the maximum fuel range or spotting range you can have. You also notice, even though it's Himmelsdorf, so it's rather small, that there's a black, uh, not a black, a purple square. You can see it right here, the purple square. That's your render range, it's 500 meters. If there's anything out of that render range, you will not be able to see the enemy. So you will not be able to shoot him. So if even if it's outside of your spotting range, so the last circle, but it's still spotted by the enemy, or by the friendly, sorry. You can still shoot it because it's in your render range. As you will also notice that everything is in purple. And um, so it's purple is because I put it in uh, the colorblind mode, but also XGM overrides some stuff. So in my XGM config, I've made all the other stuff purple as well. As you'll notice, uh, if you hit somebody, it's in purple, not in red. Uh, the enemies are all in purple, your friendlies are in green, all that jazz. Also in your minimap, everything is purple. You'll also notice that there's like a, a pink uh, position. That's the last position of your enemy. Uh, um, in the lower levels you will also sometimes see the last position of your friendlies or if you're on a big map it's not that great but especially the enemy last known positions are really nice um, the icons are also slightly smaller I think than usual uh, at least we we just we uh, decrease the size in those so yeah that's about it if you shoot the enemy as you'll see it will be uh, the yellow coming out but the enemy itself is all purple, the silhouette is purple. So yeah, I'm gonna ha go ahead and finish this battle. I hope you ha guys have a good time playing with this uh, mod pack. I will always make another mod pack for 8.9 and beyond. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to, uh, I don't know, like the video, subscribe to YouTube. And totally share it on Facebook. <laughs> nah, but you know, have a good time. I'll see you guys on the battlefields. And I'm probably live streaming right now, so tune in.